peeps welcome back to my youtube channel today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make granite soup gracie style okay <laughs> now in the pot we're going to boil some meat and we're going to be adding some stock fish the flesh parts then we're going to add some chopped onions to this you want that onions to be plenty so that it can flavor your meat well next up we're going to add some seasoning to this you know then we're going to go in with some Cameroon pepper. You want that Cameroon pepper to make your meat, to enter your meat. Then we're going to add some salt to this as well. We will give this a good mix together. More like you don't want to leave your meat to marinate, but you shall want the meat to marinate. You know what I mean? So you're just going to mix this together to ensure that the spices are well incorporated into that meat so just keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can see more amazing content like this because trust me this year i'm ready for you faves <laughs> so when you mix and mix and mix and mix until the spices are well combined you're going to cover this for like let's say six to five minutes ish for the um the meat to release its own stock you see i didn't have any water and this is the water from the meat now you're going to go in with your own liquid that's your water in order to allow the meat to properly cook then you cover it and while that is boiling let's prep our granite now in a pot i'm going to be adding some roasted granite you can use fresh granite if that is what you have but i have roasted granite at home and that is what even inspired this recipe i'm going to be adding some calabash nutmeg please go easy with your calabash nutmeg don't have too much that's a little speaks a lot i'll add some oziza seeds as well to this and i will begin to toast this gently for it to you know when a recipe says you should toast please toast it has a lot it adds a lot of difference to that soup so when they say toast this granite no ignore that part please toast that granite so i'll keep on you know pan frying my granite and when i think that it is okay don't do too much just a little bit i'll transfer this to my blender mm -hmm then inside that my blender i'll be adding some atta jossi it's like dry pepper is a small type then i'll also add some crayfish to this trust me all of this is building flavor for the soup and this soup is very very nice no cap at all i'm not even trying to patronize you or maybe sell this soup to you but this soup is good especially when you cook it the greasy way <laughs> So I'm going to um like I I don't want it to blend at a full stretch because if I'm not careful, this granite can turn to peanut butter and that's not the vibe I'm going for. I want it to be dry. So I'm just going to use my spatula to keep you know taking it down a bit a bit like in bits like so because I don't want my granite to come and turn to peanut butter. I don't want peanut butter. I'm making granite soup. Um. <laughs> So yeah, just I'm just going to continue to blend again until I get the desired texture that I like. So once I get the desired texture that I like, this is it. This is it. It's like a rough texture. It's not too smooth. If you go for the smooth one, that thing will turn to peanut butter in your hand. And you don't want that to happen. Now I will now transfer this to my boom boom i'll be my 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 bowl <laughs> i'll try and add this to my bowl and i'm just going to set this aside while i check on my meat now my meat is softened you can see that the water even dry inside you can know that this meat will be very flavorful so i'm going to add more water to this about two and a half cups yeah i'm just going to add more water to this to allow it to you know have a a um i don't know a free movement mm -hmm. now i'm going to add my dry that all those dry things that i blended i'm going to just add it inside like so if you try this method you can never go wrong with your granite soup and it will bang just use your spatula or your spoon to take it down in the pots like so and you know just use your spoon to take it down in the pot like so and you want it to 
form a good relationship with that liquid that you have just had it so after a while this is the vibe it was giving me this is looking so good i'm going to add a little bit of palm oil to this i'll cover it and allow it to soak to war war that is to boil <laughs> so once it boils yeah i'm just gonna open my lid now and i'll be adding some bitter leaf some rinsed bitter leaf will not be fresh one no. rinsed one the ones that have been rinsed properly rinsed i'm just gonna go in like so i'll add my bitter leaves to this and yep this mixture is already given trust me when i say something is giving is giving i don't want anyone to remain in that plate so i'm going to scrape everything to get inside that my soup <laughs> here i'll just gently mix in that bitter leaf into the soup like this chai if you want to impress somebody mm? if you want to impress somebody make this soup for them they'll say that you are a badass cook they'll say that you can cook very well like this is not the texture I want to achieve, so I'll keep mixing this. It's a little bit, um, how do I put it, watery now, but I want it to be thicker. Mm? I want it to be thicker. So once you get this kind of texture, just know that you are incoming. Your soup is about to get ready, but it's not yet dear. Like, this soup is so good. My husband complimented it a lot. And trust me, my husband is stingy with compliments. He does not... Like, before he will give you a, a, a pass mark, you will have worked. But he, he actually liked this soup, to my surprise. Like, this soup is good. If you make it like this, you will love it. This is the texture I want to achieve. And I'll just turn off the heat at this point. You said, check them out. Look at this soup. And tell me we will not be impressed when they eat this kind of soup. Mm? Anyways, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will mean a whole lot to me. Please subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends. And if you've never tried granola soup before, this is a good time to enter your kitchen and try granola soup. Because granola soup is bay. It is bay, honestly. Especially when you try the grocery style. You can use fresh granola if that's what you have. But this is what I have and this is what I'll be using. This is good. Enjoy it with any swallow of your choice. You can enjoy it with sushi and kaffa. You can enjoy it with rice. You can enjoy it with eba. Actually, it slaps on eba. I will not even lie. After this video, I'm going to make it back. It's, it's, it is, but I just wanted a different vibe. I don't want to be swallowed all the time. That was why I hate it with fries. This soup is good, and I would recommend it any day, anytime, with my food taste. Okay? So, please try this recipe. When you try it, let me know, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, faves! <laughs>